Who's dinner over there? He says, filling your face. <laughs> there we go. Uh, today's episode is brought to you by Wendy's. Wendy's, uh, give us some fucking free food. <laughs> if Debbie does Dallas, who does Houston? Oh, no. Someone terrible's name starts with H. Henry does Houston. It's just this guy who goes, call me Hank. I like to yank. Gross. <laughs> no, no. You can't sleep with anyone named Hank. <laughs> No, unless he talks like Hank Hill the entire time. <laughs> uh, I tell talks you to you what, about propane uh, and propane I accessories. Uh, <laughs> I tell you what, grunt. <laughs> okay, uh, hello and welcome to the industry is doom. <coughs> oh, I am Michaela Gorman. <laughs> I'm Blake Hunsley. Uh, coughing up a fit today. Um, We're on a roll so far. Oh, I have high hopes for this episode. We are truly having the weirdest goddamn day. Yep. I, I haven't slept. So, this will be fun on a bun. I'm living in a province that people are reading about in international newspapers, so that's a different week. It's never a good one, too. Never, it, it, always it's never, It's never someone locally oh has achieved something. It's oh always, yeah. you won't believe what the Alabama of Canada has done now. True routine cures cancer. Like, I <laughs> wish, but so far now, no true routines this week curing cancer. Instead, uh, we have, uh, do we know where that teen was from? I have no hacker idea. Hacker teen, so-called hacker teen. He's 19, right? He's 19. Have they re even released his name? No, because he hasn't technically been charged with anything yet. Okay, but we both know that that's just a, uh, a technicality. Why has someone not found this kid uh, and interviewed them uh, on TV? I don't know, to be honest with you. I mean, the family's been interviewed, and he's been interviewed, but not by name. But yeah. Then again, if the name isn't out there, like I don't blame him for not volunteering necessarily well I, I i can understand uh, not volunteering necessarily but seeing as how this kid is completely in the right oh, yeah, they so should be right. out there and just be like yeah i'm the face of mass government incompetency in nova scotia you see me i am the enemy says the state so if you ever wanted to learn how to become a hacker just do the following um come to nova scotia uh go online Enter a website address into the URL bar of your whatever app you're using, um, and then and then change change a number or a letter mm -hmm. at the end of that address after the page loads. And if something else on that website loads, do it a bunch of times and save every page. And then fifteen police officers will come and ransack your house. Fifteen. Fifteen. They 15. will. Uh, they will apparently take your 13, I think it was, year old sibling out to a police van to interrogate her separately. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, because because you dared to do that. Yeah, something that dared to do something that I have done in my off time and uh, professionally just to see if it works sometimes. Like, um, you want to know how we actually discovered about three years ago that, what was it, 40% of the province's pages had actually been uh hacked by Russian and Syrian uh, 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 extremist groups because <laughs> we started just throwing the URLs and, and then trying to access their indexes, doing the exact same thing. And if this sounds like we're dumbing it down, and if you're thinking, what do you mean? You can't just be talking about typing like, okay, let's go with like gmail.com slash one, then gmail.com slash two, yep. and that brings up a secondary page, something say inside gmail that maybe gmail wouldn't want you to see and their security is so state of the fucking art that by <laughs> entering a, christ you could mistype and yeah. be a hacker yeah it's, it's ludicrous 15 police officers ransacked his house it's and, not that the password was one two three it's not that there was no password set it's that they none of this was behind any no, sort and of we're security. using examples like you know Gmail or whatever or, you know innocuous, well-known sites. But like we're talking about Nova Scotia's, uh, it's it's the access to information yeah. website. This is like very private information stored, uh, as if they had just put it on a bulletin board, but like using one tack. Yeah, and just hoped you would only read the first page out of however many they have tacked up there because you're not supposed to read the second or the third and if you flip the page and they catch you flipping the page and they see you do it again they might send 15 police officers to your house after you yeah and, and i'm focusing on the officers because that's egregious it is it's, but it's completely it is egregious. certainly not their fault no no oh someone, man someone told them to roll hard and uh i suspect that this is the same someone who tried to get uh, uh our former employer arrested uh for 
digging up evidence that they found separate that the lawyers could not. The Crown in Nova Scotia, uh, led by a woman named Catherine Cowell, um, I believe that, yeah, Catherine Cowell? Is You're asking me? Oh, well, I thought you were there. Lord. Uh, one second, let me uh, double check that. The absolute Crown, Nova Scotia, Catherine... I swear I'm racking my brain. It's still on the tip of my tongue over here. Uh, maybe. She's clearly famous. Oh God, yes, she's so famous. <laughs> that, th th this is this is inside like Nova Scotia baseball, uh, for sure. Uh, Catherine, yeah, uh, I think so. My God, it's bizarrely hard to find. Not a clue. While you're searching for that, I want yes. to mention something just as a sidebar here about the scale of this story. Um, so this story, Nova Scotia, like we said, doesn't go national or international all that often. And when it does, it is usually bad uh, when you're talking the news. Um, this has gone pretty wide. The Electronic Frontier Foundation uh, released a statement, I guess you could say, today on their website. It's titled, uh, Dear Canada, Accessing Publicly Available Information on the Internet is Not a Crime. Uh, this has gone big. CBC this morning, uh, Jean Laroche, who I, who I usually enjoy, was on there talking about this, and he said the word scandal, and then he said, oh, excuse me, not a scandal, an embarrassment. It, it's an embarrassing scandal and a scandal oh, my, an embarrassment. Not, how is this not a scandal? How, this, there's a lot of, there's a lot of concern, I like to think, out there about this, mm -hmm. and this is kind of striking me as the sort of thing that people should not underestimate public anger about, and that perhaps... You know, perhaps someone should be held to account for once for something here. Yeah. But then again, I feel that way about a lot of stories in this province, and that's never the case, so... Fuck it. Well, exactly. Did you find out who's the head of our public uh, uh, oddly, oddly enough, it, it's one of those funny things where I don't want to go to the website in particular, so I'm trying to find, like, commentary about it. If you know no the name, else, <laughs> no one else will say about. these fucking. Write us address to Hey Tranny. <laughs> uh, anyway, so uh, uh, Catherine, the Crown uh, uh, prosecutor in Nova Scotia, has a long history of kind of going after targets that not not even necessarily political that have embarrassed uh, the province. Uh, in mm. this case, the child. Uh, well, the the nineteen year old teenager has embarrassed the province by showing their absolute uh, disregard for uh, safety. See, I wonder if you're reading too much into it there, though, because in this case, it seems like wherever this originated, by the time it got to, I presume Patricia Arab, who's the mm -hmm. what's her title there now? Ugh. We'll figure that out. Yeah. But uh, anyway, by the time Grand it got Cuba to of things, yeah, by the time it got to her and the premier, I really think they were convinced that somebody had hacked and stolen this information. Well, the I think the way it was explained to them, the premier himself went on record to say, "I was unaware of who it was and what the circumstances were," and yet he he allowed this to go ahead. Didn't he call? He either called the teenager a thief, yeah, or emphatically referred to the information as being stolen and yeah. neither of those things under any way that i can think of it are true a, a couple people myself included initially were comparing this to some to someone being charged with a b and e when you've left your door completely wide open yeah and but it's even worse than that because no it's as if you left your belongings out in a perfectly public space like the yeah. the absolute breeding definition of a public space well not, not only that it's if you went to a place it didn't even attempt to hide it yeah. it no it's it's more like if you went to a library and there was an implicit understanding that all that information is accessible and instead of going to the library and the system clearly being in place all the books were outside on the lawn mm -hmm. and you look at it and you go well, maybe they're having a book sale. Maybe they're giving them away. Mm -hmm. The books are not inside the library. Mm -hmm. They're all outside the library. There's and no... so you start taking books, and someone comes up to you and says, you're stealing books. And it's like, they're on the fucking lot. What happened to criminal intent? Oh, yeah. The mens rea comes into this ab there's as an no absolute defense. no criminal intent here. No, there's none. And it is just a <clears throat> waste of uh, taxpayer money to continue at it. What I wonder is, okay, so some judge must have signed off on this at this point. Correct. Yes. Okay, so... For a judge to be willing to sign on up on this, I like to think... A judge would have signed off on the warrant to get those 15 cops in there. Okay. Yeah. 
while I would like to think that a judge willing to do that would most likely do that after being given information that led them to believe that someone legitimately hacked a yes. government website. Yeah, and as opposed to stroll across a public lawn and pick something up. Yeah, essentially, it, it's all in how the responding <clears throat> officers present it uh, as a case. Because yeah, you can. <clears throat> there's a way of doing that without it even being malicious. It's just a matter of like the correct technical speak in law enforcement in which you go to a judge and all of this, all of what I'm saying is is completely accurate to the story but can point towards something extreme. Uh, sensitive pro- uh, uh, private documents mm-hmm. uh, were accessed illegally and without the pro- uh, government's know-how. Yep. Um, those documents are, you know, there's this many documents and all of those seem to be an intentional act so that's like 700 separate uh, accounts of uh, possibly even fraud, mm-hmm. you know, um, uh, and, and uh, um, you know, it occurred over this amount of time. And judges will look at, at, at the consistency of that and say, that's an intentional thing, mm-hmm. you know, and and so you, you can you can absolutely even just using the the clearest, most no inoffensive language see how anyone could present this to a judge as like uh, a malicious intentional and uh, uh, um, like planned out uh, a detailed grab mm-hmm. of information just to just to really make clear <laughs> how easy it could have been to shade this mm-hmm. to make all this happen with such weird aggression and and so public i mean it's that it's blown back in their faces is hysterical because they just went in full bore so hard but to show how easy this is that this could happen to anyone uh i looked this up that apparently there has been a single charge laid and that charge is unauthorized use of a computer which is a very specific charge because what that means is you have to have you have to be on you have to be aware that it is an unauthorized use Mm mm-hmm and by a computer, they actually mean by a network. But you can totally get out of by a computer because if he points to, <clears throat> I accessed it on my private machine through my private network connected to Bell or whoever, mm-hmm. and that went to a public page, that's not access it, uh, unlawful access using a computer. Mm-hmm. You know, all they have to do is point to the actual network form. Like the 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 uh, the history uh, uh, moving from one point in the internet to another, and that would simply be like, nope, this was accessed. It wasn't originally accessed from uh, an off uh, like a, an authorized computer. The only way I will possibly be anything anywhere close to okay with this nineteen year old going down for this is if Bell is charged as an accomplice <laughs> and also severely punished. Mm-hmm. I'll, then I then I'm sorry, kid. Not kid, young man. I'm sorry, but but you gotta go. Uh, also, you gotta also go down the river. whoever is ultimately responsible for securing the documents. I want to see Bell, the kid, and whoever in the government was responsible for it. And I don't mean the po- politician responsible for the office. I mean the technocrat, <laughs> the, the the IT person. Oh, you're gonna take it out on the IT guy. Back <laughs> no, to you, speaking I'm not, of I'm the... not really. But if we're going to go stupid on this, <laughs> I want to see that IT. You really person. been going after Bell is going stupid or is just going <laughs> overdue righteous no, I, no, no, no. I'm that's that's poetic, <laughs> necessary, and it'll never happen. <laughs> <laughs> um, back to the people who should be held responsible, uh, which I one day will it will include the premier at the vote. The voting at the ballot box of nothing else. Oh, it has please, to. Please, God. Dear, yeah, okay. <laughs> Should, I'm glad we're not pretending there's. It's not that there's a partisan slant to this show. It's that we just kind of don't have a lot of respect for many people from any of the sides. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, oh, uh, the best way I, I've, I've I've been I've been working on this this. Uh, I think it's because we've met at them. Yes. Well, exactly. We've actually had to talk to. That's these true people. of the ones we enjoy as well. Well, yes. Yeah. But there, there's an but equation to it. Um, uh, uh, Tories are idiots and criminals. Liberals are criminals and wise guys. NDP are wise guys and oh, idiots. Oh, they're wise guys, eh? Yeah, wise guys. Eh, uh, yeah, I, I, I know how to uh, smooth a deal. Amazing. Yeah. Let's, okay. I was gonna I was gonna get to the fun part of this story. Let's leave that for last, because okay. you mentioned the Tories, so let's segue. Oh, yes. Let's, let's segue into the goddamn Speaking of other yes. story. Goddamn other story this week. Mm-hmm. Out of this province, and out of my home county cumberland 
Uh, PC party, the local PC party here, uh, progressive, conservative for those, uh, I was going to say fortunate to live elsewhere, but there might be Americans listening, so <laughs> we can't say that anymore. Yeah, uh, uh, for, 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 uh, 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 context, when we say progressive conservative, that is the actual name of our right wing oh, yeah. party here. Oh yeah, we, yeah, we, yeah, we no, we're not, clear. yeah, we're not, we're not crediting them with being progressive in any way. They just, as you'll find out when we, when we talk about this story right now, I actually have to go to this woman's facebook page and get this i'm gonna get in trouble for this woman but like you can only respect someone who makes the following statements here so much so uh there's a debate going on right now in there's a debate going on in our legislature or there was over marijuana um because it's being legalized across canada finally and you know of course we have to heavily and overly legislate every little yeah fucking bit of minutia around that even though uh this province has a long history of over legislation leading to companies undermining that and eventually making a buck that the province could have gotten into but they never ever do i'm actually going to the original at the coast for this because oh yeah yeah because you gotta like roll hard oh it's so good it's so good ah from jacob from jacob boone we do love to reference jacob boone uh, so, yeah, <laughs> Tory leadership candidate worries weed will make Nova Scotians lazy like Jamaicans. This is so bad. This is, this is so delightfully bad. So, okay, Elizabeth smith McCrossan, who is the MLA for Cumberland North, uh, lucky fine folks of Amherst and Oxford and maybe Oxford and elsewhere. Um, anyway, yeah, so... She said, as recorded in the coast by Jacob Boone, and more importantly, uh, in the official Hansard transcripts of our legislature, we now have this idiocy. Uh, this and, is... Yeah, and th- that, that means it cannot be removed until the state of Canada ceases to exist. Man, <laughs> Elizabeth Smith McCrossan, you, you, nope, you really should have just started a blog and then deleted that blog. Uh, but here she is uh, for the official and uh, not quite eternal record. I have a best friend in Amherst who is from Jamaica. So she has a black friend. Mm-hmm. So so it's okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, she said to me, Elizabeth, smoking marijuana in Jamaica is completely accepted. I don't believe that's true, but anyway. And there's a completely different work ethic and very low productivity in Jamaica. I think this is back to Elizabeth Smith McCrossan now. I think we already have a productivity problem in Nova Scotia. We do not need something else making it worse. Yeah. That's incredibly offensive to Rastas, uh, which and is a, a be valid more offensive religion. offensive to thinking people. Oh, yeah. Every, everything about it is incredibly offensive. And it's like, your friend is not from Jamaica, if this person exists at all, because they would understand that uh, marijuana in Jamaica is attached to to the Rastafarian religion, which is a minority group, by the way. Before we really <laughs> dig into Elizabeth Smith McCrossan's just just delightful breadth of ignorance here, Jesus, we need to we need to get to her colleague here, another MLA from the supposedly progressive conservatives. Oh dear, Barbara Adams. Where is she from, Barbara Adams? I know the name, but uh, like that, they won't even acknowledge it. And All right, I'm you're like... in full research mode yeah. more than more that, than the coast is apparently. Kind of so we'll give you that. Um, yes. So she also got involved in the weed debate in our legislature on that official and nearly eternal record saying <laughs> in relation to her concern is that people smoking weed is going to gravely increase air pollution what i know so so eastern here, passage okay oh she she's is close about, at hand she's no not good 10 minutes away from us she's, right now yeah oh man we should have invited her on the show or as you'll understand soon why not yeah uh, i'm sorry but someone from uh foggy eastern passage should never uh, have the wherewithal to complain about air quality to start with. If you think this person has any wherewithal, I'm yeah. about to disabuse Se- you of that notion second, so hard. Second, there is a massive oil refinery in her riding. Also true. Defunct, but true. Defunct, yeah, so it's just sitting there poisoning everything. <laughs> Speaking of people and things that are defunct, <laughs> here's PC MLA Barbara Adams. More than 95% of the world's population now are already breathing unhealthy air. The only really healthy thing about going to Africa... Oh, Jesus. <laughs> she takes she takes a legit thing that could be used for, hey, let's actually... That is not a... Well, let, let's, let's, let's help 
uh, the carbon offsets. The 95% is probably true. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. But, no, no, and no, then no. Suddenly, no carbon taxes for oh, PC MLA Barbara Adams, presumably. Oh, She's much oh, more concerned oh. about, about how we should emulate the only healthy thing about oh. Africa, in her words. The only healthy, the only really healthy thing about going to Africa is that I actually got to be in healthy air because they don't have any industry there to pollute. Oh my god. Wait, 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 wait. In Africa. In Africa. The, that big old continent. That, that that's gigantic singular complex country. <laughs> that island thinger. You know, just below oh. Europe. So the interim leader of the party sensed this. Who is that? Who's the... Oh, is that what's-her-name? Carla Mc... What's-her-name? Oh, Carla McFarlane? Yeah, Carla McFarlane. Carla McFarlane. Carla. From, from Pick to Cami. Carla. So Carla McFarlane has called for sensitivity training for the party after this, which is just priceless. These people do not need to be more sensitive in explaining what they truly believe. We don't need this to be, like, more dog whistly, less right goddamn in-your-face racist and stupid and ignorant as shit. These people need to go back to junior high. This is embarrassing. The lack yeah. of education, the lack of any kind of world experience or any kind of lessons learned from any of that world experience. I swear to Christ, the average dog could express better ideas than this if they could speak. You know what's the funniest thing? I bet Barbara Adams has blood diamonds. Christ on sale. This is so bad. The only thing healthy about the... Okay. So not just that Africa has no industry to speak of whatsoever, but everything oh, yeah, else in Africa none. is so unhealthy yeah. that the only good thing is that there's no fucking economy, apparently. Yeah. Christ. What so, a horrible person. Let's get back to Elizabeth Smith McCrossan, who was the heart of this story, because... <laughs> Nova Scotia has a lot of Jamaican migrant workers that do jobs on farms that most Nova Scotians don't want to do. Yeah. Because they're incredibly fucking difficult and long hours. It, and it, it's labor. literally outside picking, like, like ag it's agricultural jobs. But you know what? Even, even if that wasn't the case, here's the thing. The problem here is that not just that Elizabeth Smith McCrossin is quoting her black friend, which she apparently has, and that it makes this okay. Yeah. Who I'm sure, if they exist, are furious to be used. Uh, I think uh, it's adorable that you think this person exists. I really. Oh don't. no 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 no! I'm I'm just I'm just like playing out the logic of it. <laughs> okay, before I really unpack what makes me just so unhappy about oh, this Lord. whole thing, I have to read her apology verbatim. Impression. On April seventeenth, uh, twenty eighteen, this is Elizabeth Smith McCrossin on her Facebook page. Elizabeth for leader. I mean, oh my god, for leader of what? For leader. No, that's, I. in all this weirdness, I almost forgot she's running to be the leader yeah. of the PCs. Has oh, she been in office for like 16 minutes? I no. swear to god, like, oh, and what she was elected for the first time in the last election. Correct, and what happened to the last leader again? Oh yeah, the last leader, um... <laughs> <laughs> the last leader is why Carla McFarlane's response was so swift. Oh man! <laughs> oh man! She, she actually she's gonna run uh, that party in a couple of years because she seems to be the only one, along with Tim Houston, who is like, oh, how about we don't be idiots? There's like I would venture four, four, maybe five PCMLAs that I think, having talked to them, <laughs> I actually respect them and their thoughts and the job they try desperately to do. But that's out of what sixteen? Sixteen, and that's. And that's a high ratio yeah. for our local provincial political parties. Yeah, because they're... Never going to mention who they are. Yeah. Never. There's I, one if NDP any ever member. Listened, I'd just like them to guess. Yeah. Yeah, I would say... There's one NDP member who, who you can talk to. Yeah. The luscious Lenore. Uh, there might be one or two more. Like, there might be. May maybe, but, uh, like... Okay, we're getting seriously Oh, God, we are. We yeah. are. Okay. Yeah. Because Elizabeth Smith McCrossin has so much to say. Okay, so blah blah made some comments that were critical of the government's cannabis act. Uh huh. Mm. That were criticized as racist and insensitive. Uh, my bracket because they were and my bracket. Uh, I am sorry if my. Uh, uh, I am sorry if my if my yeah. comments were hurtful. Had I known that this statement would have caused offense, I would never have made it. Oh my god, these comments do not reflect the views. <laughs> Yeah. And it's just boilerplate. Blah, blah, PC party where my caucus colleagues. Holy fucking but Christ. They oh, here's the just, thing, though. No, no, hold on. Okay, I can't okay, get okay, to okay, it okay, yet. Okay. Because she just doesn't care that her comments were offensive nor and ignorant as fucking shit. Nor does she say it doesn't represent 
her beliefs. No, that's true. Yeah. That's true. She just wouldn't have made them if she'd known she was going to get in trouble. Yeah. She's, she's that's upset. That's all she's saying. That and she then boilerplate. As a registered nurse, I have strong views about the public health impact of excessive cannabis use. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You referred to cannabis on Hansard again as being well known by police officers as a gateway drug. Yeah, which is disproven, by the way, which is why Not it is... Not only disproven, it's any a, it's cop a, you talk to is like, yeah. you know what, I'm just a little bit smarter than that. Yeah. I'm just a little bit smarter than Elizabeth fucking Smith McCrossin. Well, you know, that's that's probably not very hard. She's a PC uh, poli- uh, politician. <laughs> it's just, it's <laughs> so bad. Oh my god. But yeah, like, you know, to, to the point of, okay, so what does that mean when someone comes to her as a medical marijuana patient... Does that mean she denies access? Presumably. Does that mean she, she goes out of her way to try to keep those people from their medication? And you know what? At absolute best, it means she silently and heavily judges them based on false information that she does not want to see disproven, I presume. Mm-hmm. Also, this, you know, this Okay, you know what? This MLA yeah. really should not comment on this debate in the House. This I'm MLA sorry, but there has got to down. be a bar where if you prove in public very clearly <laughs> that you are ill or just very poorly educated on a topic Mm -hmm. if that topic is up for debate in a governing body that actually makes laws that impacts my life just shut your goddamn mouth like honestly if you prove that you don't know anything about it just don't say anything is is that qualifier of actually uh Uh, uh, making uh and before anyone is to get on me for telling a woman to shut her goddamn mouth it is super (laughs) incidental that elizabeth smith mccrossin is a woman to this story okay yeah this is you could change that name shut up (laughs) you could change that name to evan smith mccrossin in a heartbeat and in this province it would play exactly the same no problem Mm -hmm. no questions asked that's almost a testament to us yeah our ABC no, is gender neutral. It is. Um, anyone can get in shit in this province for being a shit. I love that I'm more outraged by this story than I am by someone having their house and family ransacked by 15 police officers I just think... to cover up a government's own incompetence because I think that's gotten more play yeah. and I think it is, despite John LaRoche's assertions to the contrary, turning into a real scandal. But this is just so stupid. This, and again, yeah. this MLA is running to be the leader of her party. This is who we're supposed to vote for to turf our generally, I would say, what's his approval rating? Can we say generally loathed yet? Oh, it's generally, I think he flutters around 40% of the population, but that's of course all you need in a uh, first past the post. Yep. <sighs> he is not universally beloved. This was a bad week. For the premier because of okay if you're having a bad week on as a liberal in nova scotia and elizabeth smith mccrossin is getting up to all this on the other side of the aisle then you're generally having a bad week yeah so the premiers look pretty bad this week in general which is why it just seems to be a terrible idea and this is the last little fun part of this story i think they were trying to actually help him with this oh man i gotta <laughs> i gotta find this this is so good oh so big business spruce. and politics mm. Just, you know what? I like Big Spruce, and I will say, like, I like their beer, and if you really want to get down to whether or not there is such a thing as bad publicity, then everyone is talking about Big Spruce this afternoon and evening. No, it's true. Uh, Big Spruce Brewing is releasing the Real McNeil Red IPA, Democratic Engagement in a Can. Yup. That's a quote. That's a quote. Man... Yeah, it is a quote, actually. Democratic engagement in a can. Yup. <laughs> okay. Uh, they try to frame this in a really good way. Mm-hmm. They do, about everyone working together. But, of course, if everyone was working together, they would have released the real McNeil Red IPA. The Well, he's he's a former minister, so Gary Burl would have, like, the Gary Burl orange soda. <gasps> oh, God. Yeah. And then the PCs would have interim blend, and it would just be, like, a can of soup. <laughs> just, just a really blue. just really weird cheap blue oh soup. they have they have the blue milk from star wars gross yeah yeah okay yeah interim milk uh, uh yeah but they just released this about the premier uh, the real mcneil red ale brewed with our premier because change can happen when you engage all the players even though he's one of one particular side and he's not particularly well liked especially this week and 
quote, Nova Scotia, you're young, you're nimble, and the fastest growing craft beer scene in Canada. Nova Scotia is actually one of the Two oldest of parts of Two of those things are not like the other. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Halifax is the fourth oldest city in Canada, I want to say. We are a great craft beer center, which is very nice. Yes, but we are not young. We'll have to have we'll have to record a show where we're powered by local craft beer as opposed to local craft wine. Yes. But uh, but this just the timing couldn't be worse. Oh, not at all. This just seems, and I mean, it's not just us sitting here being, you know, we're, we're the comment we try, section is is one of us tries strong. not to be cynical. One of us embraces it wholeheartedly, but <laughs> but it gets embraced regardless. But the 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 comments the comments are not good the general i hope it rots on the shelf comes up a number of times Mm -hmm. there there is some positivity on there but yeah there's yeah when he's not busy legislating away my right to collectively bargain for a fair wage he's pretending to brew beer uh and and for for a first perspective this would be like if andrew como or Ted Cruz suddenly got a beer. Or, or, no, 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 Jeb. If there was a beer called Jeb. No, man, with that approval rating, and, like, honest to God, in this province, with that approval rating and level of polarization, it's if you just went out and directly partnered with Trump to release something right now. Well, no, because because Trump well, no, actually Trump has Trump already supporters. has a thing. Trump already is a brand. Ah! Like, you can't... What are you going to release? Like, oh, yeah, there's no, already Trump's Trump Trump steaks. steaks. Like, yeah. yeah. But, but there's the thing. He has supporters... I don't think even liberals actually support McNeil. They just kind of are like, yeah, he's he's the guy. There are some nice comments on here, but even the nice comments are critical. Yeah, People saying, nice I love Big Spruce, but I will not be buying this particular beer. Uh, asking, are you offering the opportunity for... Are you offering an opportunity for being a beer to Burl and whoever the PCs choose as well? Otherwise, this looks like political favoritism. Yeah, it super does. Mm-hmm. To favoritism for... <laughs> favoritism Barf. for the party in power that is really resented by i would say i would say a strong what plurality of the province a really. plurality for sure um you know he'll he'll if he runs again he might still get in because this is nova scotia and there's no actual uh other choice but he, he's not liked he's particularly loathed by union members and if we really want to be cliche about things do you think union members, by and large, like to drink beer? <laughs> uh, it's it's. What about maritimer like... union members? Yes. Yeah. Oh, who you know who can actually afford a uh, small uh, brew uh, company uh, beers? People with pensions and benefits, workers in pro uh, in the province who work for the province. Moving to Nova Scotia, so this is a rarity comment. Ooh. Moving to Nova Scotia, and this is one beer. And now brand that I won't try and buy. Sorry, Big Spruce. Man, it's just... Nobody likes bad publicity, but when you sign up for it yourself, and just... I don't know, is it just blind optimism or what? Did Like, um, uh, I, I, I believe that this... I believe this came about from a, uh, a night of drinking between someone who is vaguely connected to Big Spruce and someone who is vaguely connected to the Premier's communications staff. And out came a drunken idea that no one stopped for some fucking reason. And the next thing he ended up with is a... Uh, that's a Bruce McKinnon uh, uh, cartoon, I believe, on the can. Yeah. Uh, which means that it's not only political, but an editorial cartoonist has completely... <laughs> wait a minute, any wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Position. The editorial cartoonist from, from the, the paper of Herald. record, which is... <laughs> well. In quotes, paper of record, which is mm. pretty much universally bottom of the barrel, despised again by union members. Yes, yes, man. There's just everything about this is ridiculous. I bet Big, Big Spruce doesn't have a union. One beer drinker just referred to Stephen McNeil as the most hated man in Nova Scotia. Yeah, that sounds good. Pr- heavens, prop- I mean, well, oh, oh, yeah. we'll definitely buy a can just so I can crush it. Made from piss and lies. Oh, I like Made that. Made from one. piss and lies. I read earlier today, and it's one of my favorite comments. <laughs> about this. I feel really bad for Big Spruce, but I do feel like they signed up for this. Yeah, this is their own fault. Um, yeah. Anyone in their marketing department should have been able to say no. Yeah, I mean, there are so many public figures that are not polarizing. Yeah, and more importantly, that are not in charge of 
laws governing your industry currently. Well, you know what would have been it a just great looks idea? So for... bad. It looks yeah. like they're trying. It looks on the most innocuous levels like they're trying to curry favor with the government. Yeah, but like, and that is just. You know what would have been a, sour a, taste a great idea for this company from Bedeck in Cape Breton? Frankie McDonald booze. Oh my god! Just just put Frankie's fucking face oh on it. Oh my god! Give him a cut. Oh my god! Done. Like Frankie's sunny day lager. Jesus! Come on. Frankie's rainy day porter. You want to stay warm and get comfortable? a beer that matches Big a spruce. Chinese food. Oh my god! Oh, ah, oh. yeah. Pair it with storm chips. <gasps> Big spruce. You fools! What have you done? They've ended part one. America? America! 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 The beautiful... The... 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 Parts of it. It, it certainly is something to look at. It's something to behold. <laughs> it's something to behold. Where do we begin? The pace is so quick that, like, everything we say becomes obsolete in, like, 24 hours. Yeah. Critics of our show will say everything we say in every segment is obsolete in 24 seconds, but they will be wrong. Aha! Uh -huh. 30 seconds at least. But yeah, that's the reason that this show is now like this and not what it started out as, because every time I used to write a script uh, for me to read... By the time I got the damn thing written, it was like, no one's talking about this anymore. Oh, it's only been a day. No one's talking about mm -hmm. this anymore. Mm -hmm. No. No, you can't write things down. You no. just need someone to engage with. You need to be like Trump and just go, ah, 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 mm -hmm. ah, orange peels. I hate them. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm here. I'm your, I'm your hashtag hilarity straight man. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Address your love to, hey, faggot. Someone ironically. had to be. <laughs> <laughs> But seriously, where the fuck do we begin? What hasn't happened? In so America? yeah, with within the last couple of days, we we we've reached Cohen, uh, possibly flipping to avoid charges against himself, uh, area. So that is his uh, Trump's personal lawyer of fifteen years, uh, being essentially like uh, facing the choice of like okay, so. Do you want to go to jail, or do you want to uh, help us overthrow a president? Do you want to cut straight to the heart of just how gross, insane, and engrossing the America story is right now in just, like, one anecdote? Mm hmm Trump's former divorce lawyer went on television and claimed that Cohen is going to flip mm -hmm. because he's so desperately afraid of prison rape. Yes. Oh, not, not only pr prison rape. There was, it was specific. No, TV worthy. Black prison rape. Oh he was the, 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 the exact <laughs> phrase is black prison rape. He is he's he's afraid of black men raping Here's the him thing. in prison. Here's the thing. You hear people say all the time that a lot that like you know subject A hasn't gotten worse. Mm -hmm. It's just that it's all more like captured on video and more recorded and more widely disseminated these days. When it comes to American public life and politics, nope, no, nope. no, both, nope. yeah, both, mm -hmm. all encapsulated in the reality show that is the current America. Like, man, this we've never been show... so engrossed, and they were Canadians. We've yeah. always been engrossed. That's know, what it means we, to be Canadian. You know, oh, there's, there's. Speaking of uh, Canadians who are faking it, Ted Cruz uh, penned a a ass kissing thing. For oh, uh, the, the, the the time, for Trump. Uh, uh, for, yeah, on behalf yeah. of Trump for a Time magazine, yeah. and it, to to go over it again. Not only is this man a political rival, but he uh, uh, Trump asserted that Ted Cruz's father assassinated or was involved in the assassination <laughs> of President Kennedy, and that Ted Cruz was the Zodiac killer. No, no, no. Let's let's cut to it as what should matter to Texans. <laughs> He's from Alberta. Alberta. No, no, not even that. You know what? Nope, nope. As a Canadian, I love probably a couple of Texans. 
I'm sure there are more somewhere. There, there are some Maybe very lovely Texans. There are some lovely Texans. Ted Cruz is not one of them. No, well, he's but not like, Texan. So I there. like to think that they wouldn't judge him for not being a, a born there Texan. No, no, no. I, 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 I think they should judge him for the Constitution of America saying that a foreigner can't be elected president. No, dude, <laughs> lady. <laughs> I'm so angry. I'm going to call you both. Ooh. Ugh. Ooh. Trump insulted his wife. I, I know. I he forgot. basically called her a dog. There's so many things. Hey, your bitch is homely. Well, I, 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 I suppose I disagree, but this is the time. So you have excellent judgment in every way. Gosh, have I mentioned best. lately that I'm an honorable Texan? Eh? Eh? This is... Raphael Cruz? Raphael Cruz, uh-huh. who complained about pack. his opponents changing their name. Raphael Cruz Beto? of... Beto? Uh, Beto Rourke? Beto Rourke, yeah. It's a great name. It is. You gotta make something like that up. I don't begrudge that. No, not at all. That, that's that's. A, I was born with a fantastic name. You had to change yours. Beto yeah. Rourke had to change Beto his. Beto Rourke is a goddamn hard-boiled crime novel name. Yep. Like that is a that is a man who will meet you in an alley and and you will not come out. I got told I had an authentic journalist name. Yeah, I can see that. Yep, it's the only time I've ever been complimented on my authentic bum, journalism. Bum, bum. Yeah, yeah, three beats. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. Yeah, there you bum, go. Bum, bum. Yeah, no, that makes sense. This has been Barbara reporting to you from Everyone is dead. <laughs> Everyone except is me, dead. Steve. Back to you, Steve. <laughs> Ooh. Fantastic story, burp, 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 But now burp. back to the ongoing hysterical reality drama that is America. America. That What's fucking, next? No, that pencil drawing of the dude who allegedly oh, threatened oh, Stormy Daniels. And, and Trump's reaction was, no, 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 it's, it's all fake. It's like, oh, you totally know who that is. I... <laughs> <laughs> He, he starts defending and whoever we, the person but seriously, is. Seriously, like, oh, where you know. did this come from? Was this from now? Yeah, or no, was no, this no. From this is like then? ten years ago. This is no, no. This I know, from... I know the okay, allegation. Okay. I'm talking the drawing. Oh, the itself. drawing. Was this drawn from Stormy Daniels' I don't memory? Know. I, I believe that this is actually. If this was pulled from a file from way back when, I am totally cool with that. If this was pulled from Stormy Daniels' memory after how many years? I believe no. it is from a file. Oh, but wait a minute. It can't be. No, sorry. It's Stormy Daniels. It can't be that many years. This was all around the election. Well, no, but as uh, as long as 10 years ago, uh, I believe I heard uh, she was, like, involved with this asshole. It's been at least a couple of years. This This has been engrossing. Just everything. Ugh. It's so terrible and engrossing. And, like, this is just one of the people. Uh, uh, as, as was pointed out uh, on Twitter the other day by someone I can't remember at the moment, um, he's he's putting forward a policy that would uh, uh, tie access to uh, health care to celibacy for women outside of birth. This is a man who cheated on his pregnant wife whoa, whoa, whoa. with two up. women unprotectedly. What is this? Go back. Go back here. I'm sorry. I you can that. only access... Things healthcare as a woman like this is a policy they want to put forward if you can prove celibacy outside of like uh, inside and outside of marriage who is with advancing the exception this? who is advancing uh, this? trump's uh, people like someone is using trump to advance this that will never get anywhere oh it better fucking we are not, not in, we are not living in the handmaid's tale yet yeah i'm going to knock on wood after that because i'm irish i'm actually going to get up and knock on real wood after that. Yeah, yeah. How about we go find a forest and knock on it? Like some serious, just 300-year-old oak trees or something? Jesus Christ. But yeah, no, um, uh, outside of... You picked of... a hell of an era to become a woman. Oh, I know. That's why I picked it in this fucking country. Yeah, I was just going to say, thank God you're Canadian. <laughs> Got a forest for that. Woo! But, uh, uh, yeah, no, uh, outside of uh, uh, any pregnancy and any time, of course, that the husband wants sex, uh, celibacy. Can we just take a moment to contrast and navel gaze and be our superior Canadian selves when always talking about America? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> women will love me for linking to this. The liberals are floating the idea of legalizing sex work in yeah. Canada. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, if you are a feminist and you think sex workers are fine under current legislation, 
I don't care what your solution is, if it's this or if it's some other direction, at least you understand that the situation is not right. Yeah, they are currently it is endangered terrible. under it. They are super endangered. Yeah. Like, yeah, something has Stand to be Stand on your soapbox and endorse every endangered species <coughs> except the common hooker. Yeah. Well, you know. Uh, he, you'll call targets. them that, but you won't support their cause. Yeah. You'll also, you know, pay for them. And, but you won't support the cause. <laughs> Sorry to get sidetracked, America, but as Canadians, we really just had to feel superior to you for a moment. We a... are above you on a map. Yeah. Your hat is higher than you. Yeah. Your thoughts go up into us, and we second-guess you and go, nope. No. No. But, oh, not. my God, all their thoughts come here via broadcast and the internet and your ever-present culture. So yeah. let's get back to you. I don't... Is anything going on aside from Trump? Uh, okay, so what is... It must be something. Uh, in a week... Infinity War comes out, and Donald Trump is president. No nope, shit, I went right back to Trump. Um, um, oh, Black Panther's still in theaters, but Donald Trump is still president. Shit. Have you seen Black Panther? Yes. It's, okay, I haven't. It, I, I I enjoy it. I'm it's fantastic. It. What it what it was more important though. It is it is Afrofuturism done so brilliantly well. That it has completely annihilated the very concept of... Um, when I was younger, uh, uh, studios had this line. And it, it was like, sci-fi doesn't make much fucking money unless you're Star Wars or something like that. It takes a lot of money to make money out of sci-fi. Uh, superheroes don't make money. Because, again, it takes a lot of money and you look stupid. Black people don't make money. Because white people don't go to see black people. Uh, black Panther has surpassed Titanic. Nice. That's yeah. great. Yeah. It, I've heard, and I'm not just saying that from an equality is, issue, as important as that is. I've just heard it's a legitimately good film. movie. It, it has a, a villain that, that you're I've actually like, oh, you'd be the good guy in almost any other film. Oh, that's fun. You're almost the good guy in this. Oh, that's fun. Don't tell me anymore. No, I, no, I won't. No, I I'm, won't. I'm definitely going to see this. I haven't seen a movie since the mm. first of the new Star Wars in theater. Oh, okay. Like, I haven't seen a movie in theater. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. yeah. And I was like, that was great. I have no interest in seeing any more of them or going back to the theater for, like, how many years? Like, but I'll go back for Black Panther. Yeah, it, it's fantastic. Because um, I have a Jamaican friend from Amherst. I have a she told me I should go see Black Panther. She said it would be good for me, and it would be the equivalent of taking sensitivity training, except I might actually learn something. Yeah. Oh, here, here here's a funny thing. Uh, speaking of America and Amherst, so the Rock's family is from Amherst. I'm surprised she didn't literally say, "My friend, the Johnsons." What do you want to bet she doesn't know the Rock's from Amherst? Ooh, that would be really embarrassing. For who? Uh, all involved. <laughs> I mean, he's the most famous person to sort of come out of Amherst, and by that I don't mean the Rock himself is from Amherst. The the Rock's from like um, Honolulu. Uh, his father, Rocky Johnson, is from Amherst. Or his grandfather, I can't remember, uh, who is also Rocky Johnson. If this is still Amherst's greatest claim to fame, this is really bad. It, it certainly Wait, is. isn't... Oh, someone's from there. Feist? Doesn't she have something to do with there? Oh, is Feist from Amherst? Has Feist put out anything since 1, 2, 3, 4? I don't know. I mean... Who the fuck is Feist? <laughs> you brought her up! <laughs> Only because I think she's from Amherst. All that matters is that Anne Murray is from Spring Hill. Nothing else matters at all. Where the fuck are you from? Is Feist from Amherst? I googled that specifically. Rita McNeil has a Feist was born um, on February 13th, uh, 1976 in Amherst, Nova Scotia. Okay, then. There you go. So it's Feist and the grandfather of a potential president of the United States. If everything keeps going the ridiculous way it does... I Ted should... Cruz's grandfather is probably from Alberta and mm -hmm. or Mexico, not from Amherst. No, no, no. Uh, uh, there is a growing support uh, uh, for the idea of Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Are being you trying the to tell me there's not a growing support for Ted Cruz being? There's the there's a larger one for the Rock. That's the numbers Sorry. actually show that. I refuse. Please elaborate, but I refuse and to and some and this this uh, uh, week a movie comes out starring him. That is uh, uh, a film version of the arcade game Rampage, it, which, if you recall, is a, a giant monkey, a giant lizard, and a giant wolf attacking buildings. It is getting four-star reviews. Uh, do I have to start seeing movies again? 
No, I do not. I do not actually suggest that. <laughs> and, oh, his previous film was a a remake or a reboot of Jumanji, that got four star reviews. I heard about this. Yeah, I heard about this because. We'll have to save this for the pop culture show, but I have not seen the original Jumanji. I should slap you right now. Everybody makes faces at me, and I'm like, I'm rural, fuck off. Lord Dern and Robin Culturally, Williams. you started on third base, and I Ooh. had no idea baseball was a sport. <laughs> not until someone from 4-H explained it to me. I was not in 4-H, but someone from 4-H came to my house and explained to me what you, baseball you was. You were not in 4-H, but you could yeah. see it from your front door. Exactly, yeah. You can see it from my yard. I could see it from my back door, to be fair. <laughs> I can see 4-H from here. I could see April Wine in my backyard. Oh my god, who couldn't? Moncton totally could. But we're not allowed to mention Moncton under pain of death and other things. It's also not in America, and neither is anything else that's going on. I'm sorry... Culturally, America, you are Trump now. Yeah, you're, you're that's Trump. That's a I'm terrible sorry, milestone. Terrified. Oh, no, you're also James Comey. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, there, there is at least hope in the in James Comey, a man who uh, torpedoed Hillary and then is at least trying to clean up his own fucking mess. I, you know what? It's the weirdest thing when you see someone on late night talk shows when they cut to a clip. This was on Colbert, of course. Um, they cut to a clip of... Colbert announcing to his audience that James Comey had been fired and they erupted into applause. Mm. And then it cut to them now, like practically standing ovating over James Comey coming on now. Yeah. Yeah. But I kind of get it. Oh, yeah. No. Like, like, I kind of get it. James Comey is running for president. James Comey has to be running for president. James Comey does not want You can't want just that. be selling. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Eventually, you can only talk about how America needs the moral high ground so much, and then someone's going to be, like, at a crowd, and they'll totally be a plant by someone, and they will yell, then why don't you do something to fix it? And oh, then we have no, James no, Comey no, no, no. for we're, president. We're, we're not going to to have uh, uh, someone shouting, uh, uh, it's be gonna, king, it's Caesar, happen. be king. It's gonna, yes, we will. No, and it's no. going to end in, like, Probably like what was it? Urine and lies, or is that the current urine president? Urine and lies. Uh, that's God. the thing. Oops. Oh, oh, oh! That's the <laughs> funny thing. Is uh, uh, so so some details were leaked uh, from Comey's leaked uh, leaked uh, from uh, Comey's uh, uh, memos memos, and apparently one of them is that Melania Trump believes that Trump got pissed on or peed on someone. She believes it, and it bothers him that she believes <laughs> it. Yeah. He is upset. Does that mean it's the one thing that isn't true? I think it means it's extra true. Because she's just like, oh yeah, he totally made me do that one time. Five times. No, no, Last no. night. No, 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 no. She's his wife. He would never with her. That's what every other woman is for. <laughs> he would never since he got married. Before. Maybe she's No, I don't act. even think so. I think he's the kind of, like creepy he's apparently like a super hygiene creepy weirdo so so i think he would like treat her not at home not not at home it hasn't yeah. turned it hasn't gone south yet so someone else home. well i'm sure it's gone south a bit now now that he's president Nobody well she wanted apparently that. isn't staying that. in the white house anymore well because she's smart she's like i don't want to be around that mm -hmm. <laughs> fuck but no I, I guarantee you he would have like put her in a little like kind of crystal box yeah and you know done the right thing and knocked her up and then like just gone and fucked a bunch of prostitutes getting like i don't think he'd even get pissed on i think no i think he'd stand far clear of that and like watch as they apparently pissed on the obama's bed like he's that guy like he hates a, a, allegedly hates a black president so much that he would do that like, yeah god damn he's a weird fucker you know what if the greatest scandal our media and opposition can come up with is a goddamn hilarious but ultimately just boring distracting trip to india yeah like oh my god just cakewalk the next election yeah. already or in this or, or the uh, the one that uh, i'm enjoying this week uh, uh trudeau's in europe uh, meeting various trade port partners and andrew Shear's going on and on about oh he's meeting these european elites these european elites today he met the queen and the queen fucking loves justin you can see because she actually smiles at him <laughs> and and andrew has kept his fucking mouth shut 
even though she's one of the last monarchs in Europe from a family from Germany. <laughs> a European elite who just happens to be our head of state. Funny how he doesn't say anything about that. This is the America segment, not the Blake screams about how much of a small our Republican he is segment. <laughs> you know what, Elizabeth, go ahead and love our current prime minister. Like, you know what, no, sorry, Mrs. Windsor. Mrs. Windsor. Go ahead and love our current prime no. minister. He's a very handsome young man who's being incredibly deferential to you after his father was charming but pirouetted behind you. Like, I'm sure you love this kid. <laughs> you I'm sure that... you're just like, well, you've turned out marvelously. Turn around for Turn pirouette around. for me in front Do of me. Do a little me. spin for us, dear. Yeah. yeah, your father didn't have that. Yep. Do you think she ever, like... His father didn't have no, that. No, no, it's true. He's like, brilliant mind, not the most looker. I mean, by comparison at the time for, like, pre-television politics, yeah, he was attractive. Oh, we did hit it. Pre-television politics. Yeah. Post-television politics. Yeah. <laughs> Someone could be filming. You don't want that just <laughs> to be played back. But do you think she ever like, like just sneaks a look whenever like he's behind her? It's like, is that motherfucker spinning? See, this is the only thing I like about a monarch is, yeah, because she's human. Like, I think too many politicians are either afraid or very well advised to hide their humanity. Mm-hmm. For better or for worse. But, you know, the queen, to an extent, like, that's what she is. Well, that's what she's become. I mean, um, it's really fascinating. She's a bit of a robot toy head of state. But at the same time, like, that's also, like, you know, she's a true believer. And she's also just kind of, she's that lady with the bag. Well, that's all because of Lady Di. But when she's gone, speaking of Lady Di, (laughs) like, that's got to be it. Like, oh, hey. Oh, yeah. I realize, again, this is the America segment, but sorry, the Commonwealth is larger and more important than you, America, and we're going to talk about the Commonwealth. If you don't know what the Commonwealth is, then you are ignorant to your neighbor, (laughs) which we are, to all our great faults, very much not. Dear America, you speak English. This is where it came from. Learn about the Commonwealth immediately. Thank you. (laughs) So, Prince Charles was announced as the successor to the Commonwealth. Yes, uh, formally. To the head of the Commonwealth. Formally as, as, as if there was ever a... Well, no, Charles. because everyone was like... Bruh, 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 and it's like, it's a non-hereditary role. Yeah. This could have been the opportunity to signal an appointment for change. This could have been the opportunity where they were like, Prince William is the head of the Commonwealth. And everyone oh, yeah. would have been like, you know what? Weird, but... But true. Sure. Yeah. Why not? Or William, the, like, you know... the or Her- Did Harry? I say William or did I say yeah. Harry? I meant uh, Harry in I my think heart. Ha- Harry, Harry probably... William's the one that makes sense. Harry should be the head of the Commonwealth because yeah, it is... Harry's great. It's progressive, but it is still with a technical member of the royal family. Yeah. But he's also yes, kind of... And yes, the Nazi a, thing, but he's learned. Well, he, he's learned, but he's also kind of like... He's everyone's done a lot of Everyone's been young and work. stupid once, and everyone's been stupid probably as an older person twice. Yeah. So judge uh, not. Plus, it's balanced by the fact that he followed that up with Naked Pool instead of, like, more Nazi stuff. I endorse Naked Pool. Yeah. So, like, if, if, if you prove that it's just youthful stupidity and not actual Nazism, like mm-hmm. his great uncle, yeah. different. Yeah. 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 I've watched The Crown and also listened to some of my history classes. I'm aware of what you're talking about. <laughs> you, you, you mean you watched Matt Smith and uh, some other lady? Essentially. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Ooh! Oh, no! On the pop culture show, we need to talk about who the next other lady's going to be. Oh, yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah, America, go watch that. We're kind of done with you this week. It's just all Trump and hookers and nonsense and Playboy models. And... Frankly, it's just getting boring. God, grow up. Just Do something different. Don't threaten any wars. Oh, North Korea's behaving for 20 minutes, so they must be hungry or they're out of map. Pay attention to that. Release the aliens already or some shit. So, yeah, uh, segment three. Uh, We were discussing earlier uh, the use of uh, the editorial cartoon as a product branding thing for 
not only that the the the, the was it the real McNeil, which is not only a product, but it is a a sponsored piece of uh, liberal propaganda. See, and I agree with that statement, but uh, uh, inevitably, whether it's party. meant to be or not, yeah, and I don't really think you can argue that it's not meant to be. That's what it is. It's called the... Oh God, it's a real McNeil red ale. Yeah. If this was during an election cycle, people would be furious. Yeah, that would, that would so be an judged. illegal form of so campaign. Judged. And it, frankly, it is campaigning. And it's for-profit campaigning, which is disgusting. But on they top of that... They thanked collaboration yeah. with the governing party in our province. Yeah. And, and, and they call the reasons why equal, better yeah. placement on shelves in the NSLC. And the worst part about this is... Which is an influence peddling I, scheme. Yeah, but the worst part about this is, is like, what's his name? Jeremy who, the owner of uh, oh, Big shit. Spruce? Uh, uh, anyway. Uh, um, Mr. Yeah. Jeremy. So he he wrote this, and he is actually, a, like, he's advocating for local craft beer, which I fucking love local yeah, craft beer. totally. Advocate for local craft beer. More importantly, drink local craft beer. More and more importantly, visit stuff. Nova Scotia, just not by ferry, because I just disagree with it on principle. Yes. And drink our local craft beer, because it's great. Jeremy White. Jeremy White from Big Spruce. Jeremy White. <clears throat> See, I'm willing to judge his intentions just because I've seen his intentions, I believe. I think it's him I've seen, like, advocating extensively, I believe, for craft beer. Most of them, I think, kind I, of have to some extent. I think extent so, Yeah. But this is just so ill judged, and I just it's it's not only ill judged, but it's like it's it, immoral. There there are it's politically immoral. I'm a little disappointed. Yeah. To be to be suburban dad for a moment, I'm a little disappointed, <laughs> and I'm also a little disappointed in their involvement of Bruce McKinnon, which yeah. is what we're going to speaking of immoral. Uh, S- yeah, no, no, we're no, gonna, no, no. We're gonna talk this out. This is a this is a journalistic ethics issue. We're gonna talk this out, and this ain't GamerGate. Let's Th- do this. This is uh, uh, so he's the editorial cartoonist, one of the editorial cartoonists <clears throat> for the uh, Chronicle Herald, and you have seen his stuff. Um, uh, 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 some will call him very poignant. He he always cuts right to the heart of an issue, and in my personal opinion, it's because his views on things are so simplistic that they almost become universal at certain times i think Mm -hmm. (laughs) some expressions of emotion are not necessarily universal but they buy into such a large segment of the population that it's okay and you it's you know it's fine to criticize but it's also fine to enjoy and i happen to be one of those people who enjoys a lot of bruce mckinnon i remember bruce mckinnon from like the early early 90s like and late 80s like fucking meach lake nonsense times we should do a meach lake Ooh, episode meech lake. Oh, oh that brian mulroney gross let's do a meach lake episode <laughs> we'll call it meach lake 2 yeah go ahead reopen the constitution <laughs> justin perfect but i remember him from that era and i also remember him now from a lot of kind of you know to put it if you want kind of saccharine moments mm-hmm but he expresses national mood well, and I begrudge Canada a lot because oh, McLean's article this week. Mm. Urgh, cannot remember who. I'm gonna look this up while you're in a, while you're in a tirade later because right, right. I want to talk about it. Scott Scott Gilmore Gilmore. That sounds Scott right. Gilmore, Scott, Scott Gilmore, Gilmore. Scott, Scott Gilmore. Gilmore. Scott Gilmore. Look it up. Let me know. Hey faggot. Um, see if I'm right. Scott Gilmore. Scott from Gilmore. Was talking about how we're not a real country because you know we can't take beer across provincial borders which is insane and the worst possible judgment in that case even though it was probably the right one by the law just terrible yeah ill thought out because we can't do that and his argument was we can't do that we can't build pipelines that are in the interest of one of our provinces that one of our provinces yeah but it's that province you mean the one that's uh, screaming about getting equalization payments after wasting billions of dollars that it made for itself and wouldn't share yeah yeah <laughs> You mean you mean the one that was led by the drunk who called us all carpetbaggers? Okay, do you want to argue that we weren't carpetbaggers? He was saying it to a room full of fucking Nova Scotians. 
Like, it I made no fucking sense. No, he no, was drunk. He it. had no idea. So what? Get pissed off. Make it interesting. It's worked to our neighbors to the south. It's uh, fine. Oh, oh yeah. So that bring it here, Ontario. Okay. I double dog. Don't fucking bring it here, Ontario. Jesus I do not double dog Christ. dare you. I don't even single cat dare you. Stop it. Stop it. Stop. Stop it. Stop buying. Stop hash. it. Pick. Stop pick it. Pick one of the women. One of them because you can't split it. Pick one of the women and just vote that way. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> They're all terrible, but that one is the worst of all of them. Yeah. And one of the other ones is probably corrupt, so, you know, whatever. Yeah. And I know the other one's that one, but, like, and not necessarily that one, but that part. <laughs> but just, oh, God, just pick something Doug, that's on him. Not Doug Ford. Yeah. You know what? Not Doug you Ford. You know what? No. Kathleen Wynn, you want to uh, just, I know, just turn your head and cough and vote Kathleen Wynn if you have to. Just, but, pick, but pick before the election and make it well known. Mm. Get together with your friends and discuss how you're going to defeat Doug Ford because that's gross. Don't do that. Yeah. Okay, Bruce McKinnon. We disagree on the general premise. I like his saccharine moments. Whereas I believe that uh, if you did a. I'm kind of emo and I want to be patriotic, <coughs> but I can't because I live in Canada. It, Scott it, Gilmore argues we're not a real country. That's what it was about. Read it. One. If you took all of. Uh, um, I agree with him wholeheartedly, but I want to be patriotic, which is why I like Bruce McKinnon, because I'm also you. Know. One! If you take all of Bruce McKinnon's cartoons and uh, uh, did a spreadsheet of all the reoccurring characters, St. Peter would be the most reoccurring Oh, he's great at death. Fucking character. He's, he's the merchant. No, of death. it's not great! It's so goddamn cliche! Fuck St. Peter! No, stop it. <laughs> it's so cliche. Two! The actual discussion and statement, we are not a nation, is the primary basis of the Canadian identity. Yes, I'm aware of that too, but it's fun to look at ourselves in a way that doesn't reflect off America, that's but actually he has about to us. Be so second guess us. enough of, to make the statement, and he's not in the article. There's, Did you read it yet? Yeah, there's no self awareness. It's almost like someone has thinks they discovered this, this uh, uh, de uh, uh, debate. And it's like, motherfucker, I almost had a degree in this debate. Literally, I almost got a degree in Canadian you studies. You can't claim to be the norm. I'm not saying I'm the norm. Well, the norm reads McLean's, okay? That should Seriously. know better. Columnists are supposed to be in the level of not normal. They're supposed to be well-read, erudite, and interested. I don't know. You and I wrote columns. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> That was what we were also going to talk about, though. <laughs> Legitimately. Yeah. No. Call, like, seriously, editorials we wrote. Yeah. Well, and it, that's the thing. It, it is fun to write editorials. It's fun to just be like, I know something, or this is what I want to say. Mm -hmm. um, the problem, of course, comes with people who want to disagree with you regardless of the information, or when the information is incorrect. I never minded being corrected when I was wrong. That was fine. Yeah, it was it was rare. It was very rare. I like to think that anything got in that was factually wrong, and if it ever was, it was corrected immediately. And it was always like, and a, it was announced a, it was an actual immediately. factual disagreement. Yeah. always comes with a lot more humor and understanding yeah. than a I disagree with you. But I didn't mind when people disagreed with me on the basis of an argument that I was making, especially when I was arguing something. My favorite favorite times were when I was arguing something that I passionately believed in. Mm -hmm that I knew I was the minority opinion on. Hmm. But also, I guess ultimately didn't matter. They were all big picture shit that I just wanted people to think of on some level. Like, yeah. no, give it a minute's thought. Stop being sports team A instead of sports team B. Like, just let's all talk about this shit. Like, think... you want to talk about Mrs. Windsor? Yeah. That's one of them for sure. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, like... You cannot pretend that we live in a country of equal people while we do a lot of the things that we do internally, yeah. some of which I will not even dare to mention because it, I know a couple people listen to this show, and I don't <laughs> need that much hate on my conscience. But one of them is the Queen. We really need to have a discussion about mm -hmm. if you can pretend to agree that everyone is created equal while installing any powers and don't argue that she doesn't have any real ones because she does even if you're talking symbolically and culturally yeah, in someone who was born into that at it the is very not, least she it does not equate yeah, it doesn't at, work together if you really look at it at the very least she is one of the few people in this world who has a guaranteed income talk about a strident editorial there's one right there yeah there there's you want fucking socialism be royal. <laughs> You'll get everything. Yep. Yes, you have to put in a lot of work, but it will never be like, shovel this shit. 
take yeah. some crap from some asshole. It'll never be dull. You'll never be dull. And, and, anyone, who, and anyone who says, like, that's a blessing has never yeah. experienced dullness. Like, don't get me wrong, excitement is often terrible. Yeah. But dullness is always terrible. And at the end of the day, people are always going to go right back to your majesty. Your majesty. Dullness isn't always terrible. It's, it's imagine, way more often. Imagine than. what that does to your ego to be called your majesty. E- like, it's a good Look, thing that you know what? Liz Everything gets has... terrible sometimes, but you yeah. live in extreme comfort. Yes. Yeah, you have palaces. Yeah. Palaces. Oh, your secondary home is a castle. It's a literal castle. It's one subject I cannot keep to myself in the wrong place, <laughs> the wrong setting. Like, I loved covering the Lieutenant Governor's Garden Party. Yeah. Most so, fun assignment ever. At a royalist event. So fun, because I just... There were, like, period reenactors, and I was just like, you're the nicest, most fun people... And you clearly deeply believe in what you're doing. But I find absolutely every element of this entire affair farcical. Mm -hmm. And then when I think about it deeply and remember what it represents and is supposed to be reinforcing in our pop culture, ineffectual and offensive. Yeah, Ineffectual being the worst thing (laughs) of the two. Because it's just a novelty that people walking by on the street don't even know what the fuck it is. But this was the editorial I probably didn't get to write as often. Like, I... Well, I know I didn't get to write as often yeah, as I well, want to. I would have done it every week yeah. because I aggressively want people to think about this. And yes, maybe that bores and maybe that doesn't sell things. But you know what? I'm not going to pretend to be an educator for Christ's sakes. I'm not that enamored of my own opinion. But can we please have a national discussion about whether we can square equality with this institution? Yeah. Or whether we, and whether it's just logical in a country where our conservative former prime minister declared Quebec its own nation within our borders, yep. whether that squares with an English head of state. No, it's true. Oh, not only that, but, uh, uh, so yeah, we have, we have the nation of Quebec within our own nation, so they're French, but there's a, there's a third, aside from all of the native states that are their own nations as well, um, there's, there's a, a fourth, I guess, um, in the Inuit, so fifth column that is officially recognized that hate the fucking English. And it's the Celtics. Um, in Canada, the Celtic civilization, culture, what have you, and the language is a protected one. It has the same status as <clears throat> French. It's just, its population is so small that it doesn't become an issue. Are we going to get into my feelings on tax dollars going towards the preservation of a dead Gaelic language in Nova Scotia? Ye. But more importantly, they would not support an English crown. So that is how many official nations? People who supported loudly (laughs) the tearing down of the Cornwallis statue, Mm. but also think the monarchy is fine. I don't know those people. Are insane. Who are those people? Everyone. I've never met those people. You've met all of them. That makes no sense, though. They're everywhere. That makes no sense. It makes all sense. No, it doesn't make any sense. No, it doesn't make any sense. Well, they don't make any sense, but the fact that they're there, well, that's just irrefutable. Yeah. They're out there loving McKinnon cartoons, apparently, because they're the Mm -hmm. sheeply majority. Mm Mm-hmm. I love Bruce McKinnon cartoons. (sighs) I think they're great. I... You know what? Do you... Okay. Let's, Let's unpack this. Didn't we talk about the... Did we talk about the woman who on Twitter, the journalist, who got in so oh, much uh, uh, Nora, holy hell Nora, over uh, no, we, we didn't. Humboldt? Yeah, so yeah. this, I guess the, the personal editorial segment has just turned into a personal editorial segment. I don't mind oh, that. Oh, gee, I, I wonder how that happened. It's, it's, it's not a repeat of segment one. Fuck off, it's new material. Anyway, uh, Nora Loretto, uh, a really nice person. I, I know her. Hi, hey. Um, she... I know that some people say uh, timing was an issue, but frankly, the truth is most powerful when it is well timed. Um, do you think Jesus really got executed because he said things disagree. at the right time? I severely disagree. <laughs> I think there is a definite argument to be made that we don't pay enough attention to stories about minority victims. Mm-hmm. We don't. And you have to understand, that's the majority of what her actual reporting is on. So there's a there's a content a context yeah. there of like And I understand we wouldn't be talking position. about this if she yeah. hadn't made that argument at that time. Mm-hmm. 
the only and i don't agree with any of the okay the extreme negative response five solid days she has been attacked by neo-nazis extreme negative response yeah just okay when are social media companies going to be held to account in any way never and i never thought i would argue for that as an advocate of the internet equals free speech for most of the internet's history yeah and then I saw Andrew Scheer outright lie and get away with it because the CRTC has no control over statements made on the internet. I don't care because no one will ever vote for Andrew Scheer. I know one person who will, and he was a great guy to drink with, but fuck is he stupid. I don't care because no <laughs> one will ever vote for Andrew Scheer. God, No. Bland, pablum, well, no. Somehow Stephen he, Harper. He became leader of the goddamn party. Uh, well, we all know how that happened, and that's hilarious. Anything that weakens the National Conservative Party internally, yeah. it makes me very happy. So thanks, Andrew Scheer. Thanks, that whole election. Thanks, Maxine Bernier. Thanks, <laughs> what's your name? No one wants to remember. We'll Thank call you. you the new Ms. Anonymous for your contributions, you right wing fuckhead. Thanks, Michelle, for blocking me on Twitter. Uh, and thank you, Kevin O'Leary, for your gold-plated shitter. Thank you, Lisa Wright, for I actually have nothing sarcastic to say. Nothing. You can argue me if you want. I don't even care. Lisa Wright, I, I don't have anything sarcastic to say. I just have to say, Lisa is good when you keep, get her away from people who she's supposed to agree with, and you can have a conversation with her. Um, and then you get her with people that she's like, oh, right, I have to be their leader. Um, 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 minorities! She just, like, pirate, uh, 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 parrots shit that other people expect someone to say. And it's like, no, you can be better than this. Wait a minute, are you telling me that affiliation with and exposure to a party of like-minded political believers is actually detrimental to a democracy? Mm. 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 Now who's expressing an unoriginal thought? <sighs> Bitch. <laughs> we didn't even get to cartoons. I don't even care. Bruce McKinnon is great. Bruce McKinnon is... He does what's expected to for him mm -hmm. in a way that I, who normally severely disagrees with that, have absolutely no problem with. Did you know that Except Tammany for Hall this... was taken down by an editorial cartoonist? No. An editorial cartoonist took apart uh tammany hall the most powerful political machine in american history i don't think bruce mckinnon has taken down any politicians no and that's why i do not like him no 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 you gotta you gotta have patience oh oh well, which decade am i supposed to wait for this to appear in no no provincial ennui and lack of ever moving ahead in any direction possible ever <laughs> Doesn't does not what does not trigger does not I use the word trigger I'm excited for this argument mm. it's the first time ever does not trigger Bruce McKinnon did did he you... has to wait for he has to wait for something truly egregious may we live in interesting times and see Bruce McKinnon crucify and destroy a politician his career let's go with his party let's go with it's okay to be saying his because I'm wishful thinking yeah well, yeah um, if I re if I recall didn't that press release call us young and nimble. Man, <laughs> no one over the age of 50 is listening to this podcast anyway, I presume. So be young and nimble. My dad's Wait, no, me. Mickey's dad. Be young, be nimble. <laughs> Call on Bruce McKinnon. Well, do, I don't know. Just lie and wait and wait for the event that will ultimately, like, man, Bruce McKinnon could be, like, our greatest cultural, like, trapped, lying and waiting. Bruce, uh, get You're going to eat your words. No, Bruce, You're get in contact with us. Nope. How much were you paid to draw that uh, product? Uh, branding. I'm going to assume he did it out of the goodness of his heart, and I would like to be proved... I would like to not be proved otherwise, unless it's true, in you, which case... You think the cartoonist otherwise. who worked for the Chronicle Herald throughout their uh, their, their entire strike uh, is doing anything out of the goodness of his heart? Yep. And not profit? Yep. You think the guy who has multiple book deals based entirely on tiny little differences... Fine! A reasonable rate! <laughs> They're $40 each! I don't 
begrudge him. I want to be paid heavily for my work, and I barely do anything on this podcast. I'm just here, and you still couldn't survive without me. Listen to season one if you dare. It's like RuPaul's Drag Race through the filter, except audio. You're welcome. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, you can check us out at, at Industry is Doom on Twitter. We also have a Patreon for that money-grubbing asshole over there. Hello! <laughs> uh, which you can find at Here Ego uh, on Patreon. I have been Michaela Gorman. I have been Blake Hunsley. It's been a delight to be here again. It's the last time you're on. <laughs> this is my house you're recording in. <laughs> Eat it, woman. Uh, good night. <laughs>